you like to play golf? Yeah, I do. You do? I do. I don't like, I'm not like an avid golfer, but yeah. I like to play. Oh. Why? I used to play a lot because we, when I, in high school, I lived on a golf course, mm. um, but I don't, I don't enjoy it that much. But when I do play, I will say it, it takes a lot of balls to play the way I Just- Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex of Corbin. I was waiting for the stupid punchline. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Yeah, I'm not a golf fan. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow shoot accounts, subscribe, like, button. Every, every time I play golf, which I haven't played in many years, but every time in the past that I've played it, which has been a handful of times, I finish and walk off the green and think to myself, I could have done so much more with those five hours than I just did. I also find it to be a complete waste of acreage of land on the planet and water. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's... It's an elitist white sport. That's for definite, sure. Yeah. Which is why I don't play it, like, because it's way too expensive of a hobby. It's unbelievable. Um, And time-consuming. Good It it is definitely a waste of resources, for sure. But, like like I said, when I do play, I enjoy playing, but I'm also... I don't suck at golf, like some people. Mm. Today, (laughs) we got another... This is actually a little quick Ani little... It's 10 questions with Ani. And this is... uh, Wait a minute. Family Companion South, so another... Oh, okay. Another uh, film companion thing? Yeah. Maybe but, he did it at the same time as the interview? He might have. Who yeah. knows? Um, but this is, uh, it's 10 questions with Ani. Okay. Um, and so he's doing obviously a lot of PR right now. Probably. I hope they're really important things like shoe size, where do you go shopping? Um, Penis size. Favorite side to sleep on? No, not that. Oh, here we go. Ani? Hey, Michelle. Just 10 questions. Super okay. quick. Come. Okay. What is the fastest song you've ever composed? Fastest song I've ever composed recently is Bloody Sweet. The weirdest situation in which you got an idea for a tune? Weirdest situation should be now at uh, Jawan Audio Launch when I was listening to other people's speeches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got an idea and I put it on my voice. Man. The weirdest situation <laughs> or place in which you heard somebody else mm. play or listen to your song? Uh, when I went to a restaurant recently uh, Where? in the outskirts of Chennai. I can't name the restaurant. <laughs> uh, but I was sitting right there and then there was a marriage function going on just outside. Hmm. And like nine out of ten songs of mine, but people didn't know that I was sitting right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you weren't a musician, uh, practically, yeah. okay, what's a career choice that you would have chosen? Or what your family would have... I would have been an investment banker, not in India. I would have been in Singapore or somewhere abroad. Killing it in that also. Not killing it. (laughs) (laughs) Not killing it, but that is what I would have done. Okay. Um, Breaking Bad has been your most favorite show. Mm -hmm. Which show comes a close second? Better Call Saul. Okay. Narcos. Narcos. Okay. (laughs) Gus or Hector Salamanca? Ah. Gus. Gus Gus. Yeah, Gus. Because of just how cool the characters Hmm. are. Okay, a recent song or tune that made you jealous, but in a very sweet, happy way. A recent song, mm-hmm. which I, okay. Recent song, I, I really loved Dadbuka Shiva's uh, Maruvat. And oh. I heard it, I was like, oh my god, this one is super. Uh, okay, a uh, Hollywood composer you mm-hmm. would love to sing for? A uh, Bollywood composer. Bollywood composer. Hollywood. I really love Shankar Esan and Loy. So, mm. yeah, yeah, so I would love to sing for them. But I don't think I'm capable enough. Okay. <laughs> so every day you come across people who come to you and tell you, okay, my uh, my favorite song of yours was this, this, all that. You know? mm-hmm. But one song that somebody came to you and told you that you were not a very, un- not, not a very common choice, but mm-hmm. you felt super happy that they told you about that song. Right? Never give up. From Never give day. up. Yeah. Okay, last four mm-hmm. questions. Mm-hmm. Favorite Raja song? Poonga uh, Trivial song. Mm-hmm. Favorite Yara song? Yarar, Pudu Velle Malay. Okay. Mm. You <laughs> yes, that one. You won the song from Sarvam called Nidane. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I love that song. I love yeah. that song too. Me too. Harris, Harris, oh. Uh, uh, oh Shanti, the oh. Ninja Kul Pedi. Anirudh? Anirudh. Anirudh song. Nothing. Uh, no. Thanks so much for doing this. Thank song. you. I wish they would have put the the pictures up. <laughs> Might have helped. I can't help. I, obviously, this is probably not meant for us. Yeah. Uh, but no. <laughs> like I can't. I just the names they rattle them so fast. I can't like visualize if we've seen it yeah. or heard it before. Uh, like I couldn't tell you my favorite Harris song because I don't. Yeah. I don't know the names. No. But I know so many. Like like if you gave me the beat, I'd be like, yeah. Uh, I'd I, have to go back and look at my playlists for stuff I've saved to see. 
You have a lot of all I, of them. I have a lot of songs. It's just I remember the songs. I don't necessarily remember who the, the artists were per se. I'll remember the films they come from more likely than I would the artists per se. Unless, I mean, obviously, unless it's a new song like Juju B. I, I know very well who that is. Yeah. Juju B, Juju yeah. B, Juju Juju B. Or badass. I just added that to my playlist as well. Um, I want to know how fast he wrote Badass. Yeah, he said he wrote it quick. He said it's the quickest song he's written recently, at least. I, I'd also love to know a, the, a the speed at which he writes songs typically. If he has a typical speed, and what's the longest it's ever taken him to complete a song? And when you when you talk when somebody to me, you can tell me when somebody says write a song, is that everything or is it just writing? The lyrics I would I would think a, com a composer would think about it in terms of it's it, not necessarily completion in studio because that's production. But how long did it take you to write the song from meaning? Whatever the structure of the song is, it's done, and now you can record it. Okay. The recording is not necessarily the writing process. You'll have some Does ideas. Writing have to do with like writing the notes for the music as well, or no? Well, it depends. Just the lyrics. It, it's typically, typically what I, I don't know what most composers do, but I, it's my understanding from the ones that I've been exposed to, my own writing style, my dad's writing style, um, McCartney and Lennon's writing style, is if at the most what you're going to write down are just the names of the chords you're playing like a guitar tablature as it were and you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily write out the actual notes gotcha um the ones who typically do that are the ones who are the um composers writing things for orchestra and even nowadays they don't need to do that because you have software that will compose for you you can play into the machine and it will chart your music for you you really? you don't need the job of the person there used to i mean there used to be people who got paid to write charts before computer programs where a composer didn't want to take the time to actually do the actual writing of their chart they could read it but say hans zimmer before he had a computer to do it he could write what he wanted to write play it and give it to his person who writes his music for him and say chart that for me and they would listen to what he wrote and just chart it hmm yeah, but I think most just put, for example, if a song's going to be, you know, you're just going to put a G chord and then you're going to put an F chord, a C chord, and then you're going to put an A minor chord because you know lyrically and you write the lyrics with the chords above them. I mean, that's the way I, if I write a song, I can hear what I'm thinking in my head and I'll, it usually begins with melody and lyric. Mm. And then I'll find the chords I want that match what's going on in my head. Sometimes it was reverse. Sometimes you're just messing around on the guitar or the piano and you the chords are hitting you and you're remembering the chords you're playing and then the melody comes and the lyrics come. It's almost always, as far as the writing down of it is concerned, it's lyric first and then you put the chords above the lyrics where they match and then it's really important to get it down on a voice memo of some kind because it'd be, especially melody, you can lose that real quick if you don't, you don't do that. Mm -hmm. And that's faster than trying to get out your nobody really carries around sheet music and has a treble clef and a bass clef and writes the notes out that way mm. so i didn't know yeah i didn't know um also gus is definitely the answer there yeah gus i mean is i love hector son of mine. and it also i mean sometimes you're not near an instrument i i was walking to taco bell about a month ago and a song came into my head because i was just in a giddy funny happy mood and I started, I started saying, I was just walking, and I was walking, and I started going, walking to Taco Bell, and the song came into my head, and so I just started writing it in the voice memo, and I had the whole song written by the time I got back home, and then added music to it. So it just depends what's going on, where you, you are. You it on the toilet, because you just had Taco Bell. I have never written a song on the toilet, and you've just inspired me to do so, and I will put that up on my Instagram. Just you'll see Taco it. Taco Bell first, you'll... That'll help. Yeah, you'll... Uh... Now that they have breakfast tacos, you hear about that? I didn't. Yeah, I would starting, not eat a breakfast. They taco are taco doing. Bell. They are doing breakfast tacos, so now you can be toxic in the morning as well. I would not eat a. Yeah, because there's no way it's going to be a fresh tortilla. Oh, absolutely! It's going to be a absolutely perfect from the farm flour tortilla. The eggs are going to be absolutely free range. The chickens roam around the back of Taco Bell. You know there'll be no factory processed now, stuff in there. If we had a taco, nothing cabana. but wholesome. If we had a Taco Cabana, woo! Taco Cabana's soft tacos in the morning for breakfast are so good it makes you want to put your parts in it. That's true. Anyways, uh, let us know what you thought about it. Let us know what other Ani interviews and uh -huh. other Ani songs, obviously, we should react to down below. Josh!